Welcome to what I have been talking about for a long time. The Lamborghini Special. Or some may call it the Lambo Special. This is for the 50th anniversary of Lamborghini. Which happened last month. Why it was supposed to happen last month. It happened in May. Uh, the Special. They were going through many challenges. Challenge one is the Porsche 911 versus the Lamborghini. Number two, we have the information and the history of the Lamborghini. Number three, we have challenge part two, outrun the police car. That's going to be a jump in the air. Uh, then we have the information of the Lamborghini versus the Ferrari. Then we have the Lamborghini versus the Ferrari, which is the drag race. Then we have the challenge part three. Which is, what would you pick? Lamborghini or Ferrari? So let's begin. Uh, okay, we'll go to the challenge right here. We have the Porsche 911 versus the Lamborghini Aventador. Welcome to the first challenge of the Lamborghini Special. It's all about Lambos today. I'm going to continue that. The Lamborghini versus Porsche 911 drag race. This is the Aventador. And your winner is the upside down Aventador, which didn't hit the camera. It was the Porsche. Now that we're back here, let's talk about the history of Lamborghini. Lamborghini has always made crazy cars. The Mira. Genius. The start of the modern supercar. The Countach. The rival for the Diablo, not the Diablo, the rival for the Ferrari car, whatever it was at the time. The Diablo, Lamborghini's first car over 200, putting it into the hypercar classification with Bugatti and McLaren. Then you have the Murcielago, which was even faster than the Diablo. Then you have the Aventador, the Sleek. Replacement for the Murcielago with the Mira originally it started. Then you have the Gerardo, which is the baby Lambo, which is smaller and it's well, a smaller version of the Murcielago. And they call the Gerardo the baby Lambo because it's smaller. Um you yeah, have the Reventron and the Astog. The Astog is a four door Lamborghini. And you have the Reventron, which is a faster modified version. Not well, modified, but changed version of the Aventador, I believe, or the Murcielago. I believe it's based off the Aventador. It's based off the Aventador. And it's super cool. Then we have that's it basically. Um, and Lamborghini started off as a tractor company. They had made four Lamborghini companies, one was tractors, which they started out as, and then it became supercars. The Mira was just a side. It wasn't even a project. It was just some people decided to design a car. Which turned out to be a supercar, which started supercars. Um, so let's do challenge number two, where we have the Aventador jumping and seeing if it can jump further 
than the police Mitsubishi Evo. Welcome here to the Lamborghini Outrunning. The cops. This is the police car. And it will be seeing if this car can fly further than it. Right, we're going to watch them both at the same time. And there is the Marchi Lago, the Lamborghini. And there is the Mitsubishi Evo. Which means if there was a real police chase, and you jumped off a cliff, you would die. But, you could either die in a supercar losing, or you could die in a police car winning. Take the s Then, we'll talk about something else. Welcome back. Let's talk about Lamborghini versus Ferrari. Two Italian supercars. Two big car companies that both make supercars. Lamborghini is crazy. So they just design everything. It's crazy. They made the Benino, which they made three of. They made also recently they had their Sesto Elemento, which means sixth element which is made out of carbon, which is the sixth element on the periodic table of elements. And they made this other car, which is like a one-seat car, which looks like the Batmobile thing. The thing is crazy. When I read about it, it's like, Batman would be jealous. I'm like, okay. Interesting, that's literally like what it looks like. It's a one-seat car, it's like all special, and it's all like this. Super cool. Okay. Ferrari, their cars are cool. They don't have the look of a Lamborghini. Lamborghinis just look awesome. Ferraris are just like power. Lamborghinis like power and style. And okay, so let's have a dry race between those two. And since we're not going to be coming back, I tell you thanks for watching this. And before you stop watching, because thanks for watching, we have the challenge. Part 3, what would you pick, Lamborghini or Ferrari? Thanks. No. Welcome here to the Lamborghini versus Ferrari drag race. We have the Ferrari 458 Italia. We have the Lamborghini Gallardo. We have the Ferrari Enzo. Who was the creator of Ferrari? Obviously, Enzo. Then we have the Lamborghini Countach. The Ferrari FXX, which is the racing program based off of the Enzo. And we have the Diablo of Lamborghini. Let's go. In first place, the Ferrari Enzo. In second place, the Ferrari 458 Italia. In third place, the Ferrari FXX. In fourth place, Lamborghini Countach. In fifth place, the Lamborghini Gallardo. And in sixth place, the Lamborghini Diablo. Ferrari or Lamborghini, I would definitely pick the Lambo. Thanks for watching.